Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here to show you something today. I want to show you how you can take a charm pack and turn it into 168 two inch squares. I love cutting two inch squares. I cut them from yardage by cutting two inch strips and then I cut that into two inch squares. I use fat quarters so that I can have a variety without having to buy a hundred different bolts of fabric. And I also use charm packs and layer cakes and I'm going to show you how to do it with a charm pack today. The one thing I don't care for about using a charm pack is I like to stack my two inch squares, you know, before I ship them out, like, you know, a little stack of each color or each print. And I used to sort and separate these um, 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 what, 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 five inch squares and do that, but I'm only cutting sometimes just two layers at a time. So I need to be quicker than that. So now I just pull some off and I cut them and I just stack them whatever way they get stacked and uh, you know, without having a pile of each individual little color. So uh, two inch squares, yes, there's a little bit of waste, but not much. And uh, I would imagine if you have an Accu quilt or something like that, I looked into them. There is no way I could cut my squares on one of those faster than what I already do. I'm a cutting machine, but uh, I would imagine you could use charm packs to put on that. You have to have the plate and it would hang over enough that you could cut your two inch squares that way. I think, I've never even seen one of those machines up close and personal. But I'm gonna show you how to do it by hand. It's really quick and easy. One other thing, I have this particular charm pack, which is Poured Color by Benetex, and I have a shitload of charm packs up right now. If you're watching this at the time that I upload this video, I think we are, what, April 26? Maybe 24? I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, we're at the end of April 2022. So if you're watching in the future, you're going to be out of luck. But if you go after you watch this video, if you're watching it when I upload, you're going to have a lot to choose from, seriously. Because I had a big sale, a Your Charming sale, and it was all charm packs. And I have to buy a minimum of 12 of each because I get them wholesale. So that's why we have a lot. Okay, I just wanted to tell you, I picked poured color. Now, the reason I did is because I looked at the back and I thought... You know, some people probably don't like prints like that. I don't know. I haven't opened any packs to see. I really like this modeled, you know, stuff going on on that one, which would be these prints right here. But these swirly things, I bet if we cut those into two-inch squares, they're just going to look so awesome. So let's do that. Opening it. I don't know if I'm going to do this in real time or if I'm going to speed it up. We'll see how it goes. Oh, if you wanted two and a half inch squares, you can absolutely just cut these in four pieces. You're going to have two edges, though, that are not pinked and two edges that are pinked, but you can, you can deal with that. So let's see. I think I'm going to cut six at a time-ish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's just look at... Um, oh, look! This is awesome! I didn't open any at all of any of the ones that I got. So I just think they're super cool. And now I made them all so that they're not all nicely stacked together. But that's okay because we have wiggle room because we are cutting two inch squares and so uh, there's going to be extra. I don't know how many. Let me, well, I, I should tell you. One two, three, I think five. I'm good with that. So I'm just going to um, cut a half an inch off each end on each side. You don't have to worry if they're perfectly stacked. You don't have to wor worry if they're perfectly straight. I'm just going to take a line and I'm cutting, I'm cutting on the 11 line the nine to make my little two inch strip and the seven. Now I'm just turning 
and doing the same thing on the 11, on the 9, and I usually pick them up right away because if there is any, you know, some, oh, like, see, this one's stuck, and it's not this. It's that I end up with grooves in my mat. So I like to pick them up while I have this holding the other fabric down. So there we go. I already have this nice little stack of two-inch squares, and it's a nice variety. Let's keep going. Oh, these are really, really cool. This is like very grungy. Look at this pink. Love that. You know, we got this swirly stuff that we looked at before. Oh, I just like all this stuff. Anyway, let's keep cutting. And again, I'm not sure how many I'm cutting. If you have a little mat that turns, you can use that, but I like what I do. It really does not get any easier than this. I just wish that, you know, they could be stacked, but whoever buys these, well, they're just going to have fun sitting down and sorting if they want to. Oh, oh. So cool. Oh, look at this nice dark one. Oh, there's even like black. Okay, this one's a little bit more crooked than I want it to be. Like that. Right there. You really do have a lot of wiggle room though, so that's what's good about it. Yeah, I must have a groove right there in the number nine line because it doesn't want to cut through. Yeah, I can feel it with my fingernail. I finally did get a new big mat. I haven't taken it out yet. I just got it like the other day. And I don't really have to push hard. I don't know why. And these are self-healing mats, but they don't heal. Not by themselves, they don't. So maybe I'll move over. I'll use all the even lines until those are all destroyed and then I'll move over to the odd ones. Let's go to the odd. Okay, I'm on the 15 now and I have quite a few. I stacked quite a few. I'll be saving these for my sale this weekend. I'll probably only have one set, but I am having a sale this weekend, so I'll sell these there. My exclusive sales. If you want to be an exclusive shopper, I have the info in the description box of, of this uh, video. And uh, you can join me on Patreon and shop and get lower prices than what I have on eBay. Okay. And all my sales are USA only. Because you don't want to pay the shipping, I promise you. I will be speeding this up, not because it's taking a long time, but you don't need to be just watching me cut. <laughs> We're going to be done. I mean, I don't know if this took, can I see on my, oh, we're up to like almost 13 minutes, but a lot of that was talking. I didn't even realize I can see on my camera. Oh, and I think I started this over probably, I'm not kidding, seven or eight times because I kept screwing up. I really think you can do this in under 10 minutes. Let me um, do a little bit of sorting so I can show you a picture at the end, maybe a little slideshow. Hang on. I have to show you this one. I love it. <laughs>
Well, I spread out some of the colors and I will do a close-up slideshow coming right up. Just remember, I have a bunch of these, different ones. I have a bunch of these. I have, uh, I think, 18 different charm packs. So go check them out. What's one that I really liked? Um, oh, shoot. Spring Bloom or Spring Blossom? Spring Breeze? I can't remember. Really nice colors. And then one of the ones that almost sold out during my sale was Blue Horizon. I don't know if there's any of that left. The link for my eBay is in the description of this video. Please go check out my eBay store. And I hope you liked this. Huh? It's a good idea, I think. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. You guys, I'm a complete idiot. I'm cutting some more for my sale. This is how we're supposed to do it. I completely forgot. It has been a while since I cut from charm packs. Take your stack, I have five, and put another stack so you can cut twice as many at once. See? And then just turn all four of those strips, line them up to a line. I probably got it down to, I don't know, between five and ten minutes. That's the way you need to do it. You need to put squares like five. I did six. I had no problem with six. And there's 42 squares in a charm pack. So in no time, you end up with 168 squares.